Hi guys, welcome back to Kids Corner with Snakes and Adders. Today we're going to show you some things that you can do with the skins that come off your pet snakes. We know that when pet snakes start to grow and they've been feeding well, their skins don't stretch very well and they need to grow a new, slightly stretchier skin underneath. Well, what do we do with the old one? Well, the answer is we crawl out of it. So the snakes, when the skins get old, they, their eyes go milky and they go all pale. And that's because they're building up a fluid underneath their skin that helps them to pull their skin off like a glove. And that glove gets pulled off inside out. And when they first, when you first find the shed skins, they're a bit of a mess and the snakes aren't usually very neat about it. So they just crumple them up and you have to be very careful when you're working with skins because they're very delicate. And if we pull too fast, too hard, then the skins are going to tear and that's no good because we're going to show you a trick you can do so that we can see the skin the right way round and we can see the pattern on the back of the snake. So what we've got to do as well, which is really important when we keep pet snakes, is we see that there's a shed skin. There's things that we've got to check for. Now, when I pulled this skin out, I can see that this skin isn't quite perfect. There's a few tears and some things that have maybe gone wrong as the snake's been crawling out. Well, there's an area of its body that I need to know has come off in, in properly and that there's no problems. And that's over its face, particularly around its eyeballs because it's got two special scales called a brill or a spectacle and we need to make sure that that's there. So it wasn't in this piece but I searched around the rest of the tank and I found the headpiece of the skin. And on the headpiece of the skin are two lovely round scales which are the brills of the snake showing that the eyes have come off no problem. So that's great, that's just what we wanted. Well I spoke to Mr P earlier this week and I've asked him to shape, save me all of these skins that have come off from all of our different snakes over the last week. So we need to look at things that we can do, maybe to try and uh, keep our skins neat and tidy, but also so that we can see how beautiful the animals are that were, were, that were inside these skins that have shed them off. So what we're going to do is I've got to try and stretch this skin out as best as I can, give it a little stretch and a tug, Make sure it's straight. I don't want to tear it. So I've got to be super, super gentle. This one has got really tiny, tiny scales. And it's ever so fine. And I just need to give it a gentle pull. Come on. It doesn't want to come. Sometimes it can help to wet them, but I don't want to make a mess on this desk. So... I'm going to try and do it dry, but the problem is the skin might tear, which is a problem. So we keep working and trying to work it out and stretch it out. Just take your time. There's no rush. We've just got to try and get that skin to unroll as best as we can. And then when we think that we've unrolled it as best as we can and we've stretched it out, we're going to look at some of these scales on the snake's body. And as we start to look at the scales on the snake's body, we notice that these scales are all different shapes. There's the thin scales, which we're used to seeing on the backs of the snakes. But then there are these longer scales, which are on the tummy of the snake. And those tummy scales are called ventral scales. And that's to help your snake crawl along the floor. So what we're going to do, the next step, we might have to actually ask mum and dad to help us. But we're going to get a pair of scissors. And what we'll do is we're just going to put it inside the tube of the skin. And we're going to cut down these belly scales. And as we cut down these belly scales, we're just going to try and follow them. It's not always easy because the skin goes in off in all different kinds of directions. But we'll take our time and we'll just cut down. So you can watch while mum and dad do this because you don't use scissors by yourself because they're dangerous. Just take your time down those belly scales, following it all the way down to the tail. Come on, we're nearly there. A bit more. The skin twists here. I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to straighten it out. Look. Let's give you a straighten out. It's all twisted and curled round. 
Let's see, come on. Can you see what's happening? Can you see what's happening? Now the skin's the right way round, look. And I can see the snake's pattern. Right, let's have a look and see if we can keep cutting. This way, what we can do is we can roll them up. Once we've cut them open and laid them flat, we can roll them up and then it makes it nice and easy. Let's get this. Come on, belly scales, where have you gone? There we go. The snake's so little. These big scissors are struggling to go all the way down to the tip of the tail. But what we can do now is, look, I can lay this skin out nice and flat. We can have a proper look at him. Oh, wow. We can see his back pattern as it's supposed to be seen. How clever. Let's have a look. Can you see? There it is, look. And what we can do, as your snake grows... We're going to keep each of these skins and what we can do is roll them up in a tube and it keeps them nice and safe. So we can roll them up and maybe we could even wrap a little label around them with the date. We could even measure them so we know what length it is. Now these skins can stretch so it's not exact the size that your snake is but it's close enough. And it's something that you can write down in your diary. Because we like all the kids that come to Snakes and Adders to keep a diary. To tell us when it fed and when it shared. And how it's doing. So we're going to wrap that up. There we go. See? Now we've made a nice neat tube. Now that snake skin was a real mess before. And we can see here. We've got another one here. And these scales are a bit bigger, so sometimes it's easier to do on bigger snakes. But your snake will grow and it will get there eventually. And you know, these little skins, like this one that's come off a, a rat snake, they're tiny. So you've got to be super careful with them, super gentle. Now we had a, a real treat earlier this week because one of our boa constrictors that's in the shop shed its skin. And I told Mr. P about the video that we were doing and it was Mr. P that taught me this trick when I was uh, just a little lad as well, when I used to go into his shop. And he told me about doing this with the skins because this is the way that we can keep them neat and tidy and it stops them from getting tore or broken or ruined. So believe it or not, he set up a skin here. So let me just get this skin and unravel it. Look, wowzers. It's taller than me. That's not hard though, kids, it's not hard. Look at this, and we can now see all of the pattern and all of the scales on the snake. This is a much better way to be able to keep the skins. And that way we can always check that we've got the eye caps and the mouth, and we work our way down the body, and we check that all the tails come off. <sighs> Let's unravel that tail, look. There we go, wowzers. And you can see the lovely, lovely pattern that that boa constrictor has. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's make sure that doesn't get tall. So this was just a little short video just to show you what to do with snake skins when you get them and how to keep them. And then you can keep them in a drawer and we can make sure that we keep them all and then you get to look at how big your snake's got. Because when you keep a snake all the time and you see it every day, you don't always see it grow. You don't always see the difference. So when you've got the skins to stand and look at, you can compare them. And then you can see just how much of a good job you're doing growing your snake up and making it an adult. We'll see you again soon, guys. And we'll be back with more little tricks and tips as well as guides on how to look after these wonderful animals. And from me and all the snakes that shed these skins at Snakes and Adders and Mr. P, we'll see you soon. Bye guys.